State lawmakers are expected to take up legislation tomorrow that could mean some big changes for those who get busted for underage drinking in Michigan. Let's get right to 24 Hour News 87. Dean in studio with more on this tonight. Evan? Yeah, Brian and Marley, if passed, the proposed legislation would decriminalize a first offense minor in possession charge, instead making it a civil infraction and lessening the fine. But not everyone in Lansing is on board. It's as synonymous with college as 11 a.m. classes and junk food, partying and lots of alcohol. But for college kids, or any kids for that matter, a first time MIP in Michigan may not mean what it used to. As it stands now, such an offense is a misdemeanor with a maximum penalty of up to 90 days in jail and a $500 fine. In many cases, there isn't jail time, and good behavior can help wipe that MIP off an offender's record. But State Senator Rick Jones says the punishment often doesn't fit the crime and that it all depends on the judge and jurisdiction. So you'd have some areas where young people, 18 to 21, are being grabbed and uh, thrown in jail for seven days. Jones is trying to prevent that. He sponsored legislation that would make that first MIP a civil infraction, like a traffic ticket, with a $100 fine. He doesn't believe such a crime should carry so much long-term weight. There's even some state jobs, some teaching jobs, where that one offense can keep you from getting that job. And for simply having half a beer in your system or having a beer can, I think that's too much. Jones legislation passed the state Senate by an overwhelming 36 to two vote. West Michigan lawmaker Tanya Shootmaker was one of the two who voted against it. Currently there's already tools in the toolbox for a prosecutor under cer certain circumstances uh, so that it doesn't ruin somebody's life to already do do this and accomplish uh, the end objective. Shootmaker says she's worried kids might get the wrong idea knowing about the lesser penalty. Because I do believe that it will have the opposite effect and it will encourage underage drinking if our kids know that all it is is a civil infraction and not take it as serious as they would if it was a criminal action. So the bills are on the agenda tomorrow in the House Criminal Justice Committee. If they vote on it and pass it, it would then go to the full House. We'll be sure to track its progress.